ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಎಂ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಹಂಪಿಹೋಳಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಆಫ್ ವಿ ಟಿ ಯು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟಿಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲಸ್ ಮಾಡಲು ತ್ರೀ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಇವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯುಯೇಟ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಡಿ ವೈ ಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ where the region is bounded by where the region is bounded by coordinate axis x and y and the line x plus y equal to 1 so two axis means two lines here and one line here why one line here because whenever x plus y equal to 1 is given for any line two points are enough to draw so you can put y equal to 0 you get x equal to 1 x equal to 0 you get y equal to 1 so hence uh, these two points are on the axis 1 0 0 1 then you will get uh, this uh, region bounded by this uh, triangle if at all you want to find the limits of uh, y suppose i take a elementary area and move it parallel to y axis so if at all you want x limits first you should move parallel to x axis when i move parallel to y axis it should touch the lower limit like this so that lower limit is x axis means y equal to 0 you should write down it should touch the upper limit like this you should write y equal to 1 minus x or both are same here x plus y equal to 1 but y equal to what you should write so y equal to y equal to you should write once the y limit is over this whole strip will be created when you move it up and down when the whole strip is created move it from minimum that is a uh, leftmost x equal to 0 to the rightmost point x equal to 1 so that becomes x equal to 0 to 1 last limit should be should be constant limit otherwise not possible should be constant limit last limit last limit should be constant limit once the limits are done then there should not be any problem we go ahead first integrate with respect to y so don't touch x dx when you are integrating with respect to y x equal to constant so hence so when i integrate with respect to y y dy becomes y square by 2 you can see that y dy is becoming y square by 2 and uh, upper limit minus upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is wherever y is there you put 1 minus x drag it and put here so 1 minus x whole square minus lower limit is 0 we are not touching x and dx we are not touching x and dx now everything should be in terms of x whenever you simplify before simplification after putting integrating with respect to y putting limits y should vanish here y term should not be there otherwise it is a basic mistake so when i expand it who told a minus b whole square is not important in the school now a minus b whole square you don't know you can't so every basic what you learn will be important in the next year so 1 minus x whole square multiply so integration of x raised to 1 x square here x cube here 0 to 1 wherever x is there go on putting 1 1 1 1 1 that is equal to 1 by 2 minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 4 upper limit minus 0 is the lower limit 1 by 24 becomes the answer so sum and substance is here limits how to find is important next example you see some integration is asked limits are not given but the region is given over the region bounded by first quadrant of a curve okay over the region bounded by the curve the curve c u r v e the curve in the first quadrant curve in the first quadrant that curve is curve is ellipse so you we should be able to draw the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 so and coordinate axis means first coordinate means x axis y axis ellipse so this becomes the region of integration which is this is the y axis this is x axis this is ellipse so if you take a elementary area move it up and down touches x axis and ellipse that has touched y equal to 0 to y equal to whatever we get from this ellipse so when i substitute here x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 in the other rough column if i do it 
then first turn for x square by x square that side y square by b square equal to you will get y equal to square root of that b by a into this so y equal to b by a into square root of whenever this strip is moving from leftmost limit to rightmost limit leftmost limit is x equal to 0 rightmost limit is x equal to a limits are done last limit is constant no problem and hence uh, if I integrate with respect to y first if I integrate with respect to y first y square by 2 upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is wherever y is there you put this completely let us see what we are going to get so this is a upper limit minus lower limit again y terms are not not remain so when you square it okay when you square it b square by a square will come out square root and square will get cancelled only a square minus b square will remain as it is so a square minus b square integration should not be any difficulty let us see how it is done so b square by a square outside a square becomes a square x x square becomes x cube by 3 upper limit wherever x is there put a here put a here so that a here a cube here and hence uh, we are going to get upper limit minus lower limit so it is uh, just a simplification of that part simplification of uh, this part Part. so this is a uh, wherever x is there we have substituted a here a here this becomes a uh, two third a cube two a cube and a square getting cancelled you can very easily see that final answer is two third a b square so these are the basic is uh, we should be able to draw the curves and taking elementary area how to do this a small change apart from only ellipse i am now using the region of integration as you see next evaluate over the region r where region is bounded by these two curves one is ellipse one is straight line now how we have drawn this uh, first right curves given curves how to find points on this put y equal to 0 you'll get x equal to a put x equal to 0 you'll get y equal to b two points a 0 0 b you mark it and this becomes a straight line so that whenever a and b are there with a 0 0 b so instead of a b it can be 2 and 3 also 2 0 0 3 it becomes so now in the previous case only we have drawn ellipse so now ellipse is drawn line is drawn between line and ellipse means uh, this area you will get between line and ellipse this becomes the region of integration so in that region of integration what is considered elementary area is considered this elementary area dy dx you move up and down up and down such that lower limit it touches line upper limit it touches the ellipse line is x by a plus y by b equal to 1 or y equal to b by a into a minus x simplification of this similarly ellipse is this or what is y equal to from this you can find and that becomes y equal to this part so now when you move this strip from lower point this is uh, this line x equal to 0 to x equal to a that becomes a limit for x equal to 0 to a so that is x equal to 0 to x equal to a remaining is integration again as usual we are doing upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is whatever is there you just uh, copy this and put here inside square of that minus lower limit is not zero this time p by a into a minus x whole square so when i square it here also b square by a square is there here also b square by a square is there you can take it out in this fashion so square root and square goes a square minus x square again a minus x 
whole square because this whole bracket square is there a square minus 2x plus x square not to forget this x so x is multiplied outside x is multiplied outside here after simplification of this part because a square minus x square is getting uh, cancelled minus x square minus x square minus 2x square 2 also can be taken out 2b square by a square after multiplying by x x becomes x square x square becomes x cube so needless to tell about this integration once again a cube b cube by 12 becomes the answer now in all these three integrations what is to be important is what are the figures how to draw it first one is x axis means uh, y equal to 0 y axis means x equal to 0 circle x square plus a square equal to y square equal to a square 2 parabola y square equal to 4ax x square equal to 4ay never to forget and 2 straight lines that is a uh, one mainly one straight line which is a uh, will uh, go to next part also so this straight line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 never to forget if a and b are 1 you will get this using the same phenomena whenever possible we have to draw the this one now using the this way i am continuing for uh, region whenever it is given next example evaluate so in lecture number five and six together i am doing x y into x plus y dx dy so region is given by parabola and straight line now so now parabola and straight line whenever it is given so first of all we know how to draw the parabola y square equal to x square so parabola is drawn y square equal to x square okay Okay, then straight line is also drawn x plus y equal to 1. So, whenever we get a chance to draw parabola in straight line, immediately y equal to x square should be notified clearly. So, you have drawn parabola y equal to x square, straight line y equal to x. So now what is the region between straight line? So between straight line and parabola means you mark that area clearly. So hence area of uh, integration, region of integration is this part. Now to find the limits once again, we have to use the same technique. First of all, you should consider a elementary area inside e dx dy that you move up and down such that the lower part should be lowest part of the integration y equal to x. So immediately we are writing y equal to x. And upper part is y equal to x square immediately we are writing y equal to x square. This strip moves from leftmost limit this uh, y axis to rightmost limit this one one. This point of intersection can be found because this x square and this x is y's height is same for both the straight line and curve. So since y is same, right hand side should be same. That is equated x square equal to x. And don't cancel x please. That is very important. Take this x this side. x square minus x equal to 0. So that simplifying either x is 0 means y is 0 one point. And if you put x equal to 1, y equal to 1 is one more point. Because these two are important. So now x equal to 0 to 1, last limit is constant. Remaining is a, again formality of a integration. So when you integrate, you are going to get with respect to y, when you integrate, remaining things are constants. y raised to 1 becomes y raised to 2 by 2. y raised to 2 becomes y raised to 3 by 3. So now, upper limit minus lower limit again. Wherever upper limit is there, x square, x square, x square, you have to go on putting x square, x square, upper limit is over. Immediately write minus lower limit, minus you write into bracket always. Writing bracket is important. Wherever y is there, you write x. 
and x. So everything will be converted in terms of x, simplifying x raised to 4 terms, x raised to 6 terms, and x raised to 4 terms, x raised to 7 terms. Integrating 3 by 56 is the answer. So now, very similarly, let us see how you do it. So integrate x square y dy, region is uh, 3 lines, y equal to x line, x plus y equal to 2 line. So you should get used to this type of lines. x plus y equal to 2 line means how to find it? 1 point is uh, 2 0, 1 point is 0 2. So 2 0 and 0 2. And one more is y equal to 0 line. So now these three straight lines, which is a region of integration. So now region of integration is uh, this part, this shaded part. So immediately, first of all, you consider uh, elementary area dx dy. If I consider elementary area dx dy, usually I was considering y first. Now I will not consider y first. Why we shall tell. If I consider y first, see, if I consider y first, what happens? This is the junction where from here to here, upper limit is y up to this. But when it crosses this, y limit instead of y equal to x, it becomes y equal to x minus 2. So y limit till here is different and after here it is different. So instead of doing two different y limits because you have to break the integration from 0 to 1 separately and 1 to 2 separately, two different integrations you have to do if you take y limit first. Instead of that, if you take x limit first, move it from leftmost to rightmost. Leftmost is this line y equal to x. So you should write in terms of x is varying means x equal to you should write parallel to x axis, x is varying, y is constant, x equal to what, x equal to y. And this is x plus y equal to 2. In this also you should find what is x equal to which is 2 minus y. This whole strip you move from lowest part to the highest part. Highest part easily you can find the point of intersection by putting y equal to x and x plus y equal to 2. In this also you put y equal to x, x plus x equal to 2, 2x two equal to 2 gives x equal to 1, y equal to 1. So height is 0 to 1, so y is 0 to 1. Hence, once limits are found, integration becomes a formality. But let us see quickly how the integrations are done. So, first of all here, first with respect to x. So, in the previous case, it was not like that. First with respect to x. So, when I first integrate with respect to x, y dy in the next sentence, I am not... I am not touching only. x square dx has become x cube by 3. Limits from x equal to y to x equal to 2 minus y. Upper limit wherever x is there put 2 minus y. So 2 minus y substituted whole cube as it is. Minus the lower limit. Minus always you write. Wherever x is there you write y cube you will get. So then a minus b whole cube you have to use. a cube minus 3 a square b. 3 ab square minus b cube. Wherever a is there you put 2. Wherever b is there, you put a y. 2 cube minus 3, 2 square into b, like that if you go on putting. So we are going to get see this is a expansion of 2 minus y whole cube. Expansion is done here a cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square minus b cube and here y multiplication is there minus y cube is there. So you should go on, uh, we should go on, uh, of course this uh, y is multiplied to this uh, whole term, this y is multiplied to this whole term. So what happens is this y cube is uh, getting cancelled, afterwards you multiply by y, multiply by y, multiply by y, afterwards integrate, put 0 to 1 you should get 11 by 30. Now, so far region was given. Why we cannot, whatever the order is given, why we cannot change? Under the heading of change of order, let us see how we can change the order of given integration. Sorry. Under the heading of change of order, let us see.
ओके नाउ अंडर द हेडिंग ऑफ चेंज ऑफ ऑर्डर व्हाट ऑल यू आर लर्निंग चेंज द ऑर्डर ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ एरिया यू विल बी गिवन लिमिट्स बट इंस्टेड ऑफ डीएक्स डीवाई वी वांट टू चेंज द ऑर्डर टू डीवाई डीएक्स फॉर दैट व्हाट एवर द प्रीवियस एग्जांपल्स नॉलेज इज देयर इज यूजफुल चेंज द ऑर्डर ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन and hence evaluate given is uh, x equal to y square to x equal to y 0 to 1 suppose this is not given also then since it is y it should be limit of x like that we should understand now uh, first of all you write limits and draw x equal to y square means y square equal to x y equal to x so these again region of integration region of integration we should draw so y square equal to x is drawn This is the curve y square equal to x, and straight line y equal to x is drawn. Naturally, region of integration is between straight line and uh, straight line and this becomes the region of integration. Again, to find the limits of integration, again to find the limits of integration, what you do? Take an elementary area. If at all you want y first, you have to take y. If at all you want x first, you have to take y. Now already x is given. X is moving from the parabola to straight line, but you don't want x. So to change the limit, the order of the integration. To change the order of integration, instead of parallel to x-axis, you have to consider parallel to y-axis. Okay, change integration from dx dy to dy dx. Consider a strip parallel to y-axis. This you have to write. So when you consider a strip parallel to y-axis, see that lowest is this line and highest is parabola. Hence, y equal to x to y equal to y y square equal to x means uh, y equal to square root of x. So that becomes our integration limit for change the order dy dx. so first of all when you change the order of integration this has become y equal to x y equal to x to y equal to square root of x naturally this uh, whole thing will move from point 0 to point 1 point 0 to point 1 now once the order is changed remaining the same we can go on integrating we can go on integrating so when you integrate with respect to y first x as it is dx as it is y has become y dy has become y square by 2 upper limit minus lower limit upper limit wherever y is the root x root x whole square minus x square lower limit is not always zero please so only <coughs> x is remaining after integrating we will get 1 by 24 next example evaluate changing the order of integration so what is given let us see now this is given so if it is x we should think that it is a limit of y if this is x is given it should be limit of y so that y equal to 0 to y equal to 4 minus square root of 4 minus x square but uh, this upper this uh, upper limit is uh, squaring this and transferring minus x square this side this is a circle so this is between y equal to 0 means x axis to circle so oh, come on draw the circle now so you should draw the circle that should not be any problem to you so you have drawn the circle with the uh, x and uh, y axis draw the circle here draw the circle here draw the circle here x square plus y square equal to a square so from from y equal to 0 means x axis above the x axis and uh, below the circle means what will be the area of integration will be this part will be the area of integration this part becomes area of integration now could to find the limits as usual suppose you want y limit first then take 
elementary area taking the elementary area dy dx move it uh, back and through so when i move it back and through i am going to going to get y equal to 0 to y equal to this but already y limits are there we don't want we want to change dy dx to dx dy to change the limit first consider a strip parallel to x axis so you have to write to change the limit to change to change limits consider limits of order of integrations consider you don't want y you want x means consider strip parallel to x axis what is parallel to x axis that strip parallel to x axis this is a strip parallel to x axis my dear students here so leftmost part is also circle rightmost part is also circle circle is x square plus y square equal to a square x equal to minus square root to x equal to plus square root okay so afterwards limit is uh, minimum height to maximum height minimum height is 0 maximum height is 2 so whatever the integrand is there 2 minus y dx dy it becomes dx dy so x equal to minus square root to x equal to plus square root so then if we integrate with respect to x first if you integrate with respect to x first 2 minus x dx is there okay if you integrate with respect to x first If you integrate with respect to x first you are going to get answers like this 2 minus x this becomes I'll explain here 2 2 dx becomes 2x minus x becomes x square by 2 here because it is minus 2 plus here it is minus 2 plus x raised to 1 dx is odd function so only 2 dx is retained when only 2 dx is retained which is like this So when only 2 dx is retained because this x dx part becomes 0 because it is x dx part is a x dx part is a odd function from minus to plus that becomes 0 only 2 dx part when you integrate it becomes 2x 2x is square root of this 2 square root of this that becomes a x equal to 0 to 2 x equal to 0 to 2 2 times the square root of 4 minus y square dy. When at all, if at all we want to integrate this, you have to substitute y equal to y equal to 2 sin theta. When I substitute y equal to 2 sin theta, integration becomes uh, okay, one more 2 here. Theta equal to it becomes 0 to pi by 2. This is a uh, cos theta, dy also becomes uh, 2 cos theta. So totally 2 cube cos square theta d theta that becomes 8 times 1 by 2 pi by 2 which is uh, 2 pi becomes the answer. Remember whenever it is such that 4 minus y square dy you can put y equal to 2 sin theta. If it is 9 minus y square if it is 9 here it should be 3 here. If it is 16 here it should be 4 here. If it is 1 here it should be 1 here. Accordingly, you have to put the limits and get the answer. So, in the next class, again, we will come to change of order some more examples. Till that, practice these examples. You can make the videos slower and faster according to your wish and watch them. Till that, bye. Take care.